This is Jamie Boyman Tyler. I am here at a bookstore. It's the Pea Picker with John Johnson, who is the Pea Picker owner and have been for some time. Yeah, 48 years. 48 years. Quick. And and you're you're calling it quits, I guess. Yeah. Are we all are the paper books and I'm getting too old to keep up with it too, so you have quite an inventory. Yeah. I mean, I guess, it, you know, originally you were saying that you're going to uh, close it down tomorrow, but uh, I, you got a couple books left. It's going so. to be extended by popular demand <laughs> till the end of January, at least. Oh, well, there you go. Well, that'll help you to clear all this out because like, you own this building, yeah. right? Have for some time. Yeah. And, uh, and it's just, uh, I guess you just decided next phase of life, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's time to rest a little while. Go yeah. home and fix the fences. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of that I got to do. Um, so, uh, what are you selling the books for now? They're a dollar a piece. Wow. Till they last, till they're gone. Till they're gone. And you got thousands of books. Yeah. There. But it's, it's sad to see them go, but I hope they all find a good home. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that, I guess that's your purpose, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's... Mm -hmm. uh, it, I guess it, there's just been a lot of changes as far as reading material. Oh, right? yeah. Mm. E-books have just done it to the used bookstores just about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Used to be like five or six in Tyler, I guess, in the good old days. So, are you the last one or there's still some others? Oh, there's one other half price books is here. And there's a few in around the area, I think. Mm -hmm. Mostly it's going to coffee and donuts and antiques and mm -hmm. books over at the edge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It, that, that is true. So, uh, yeah, and I guess, you know, with the, the online, you can have the books just delivered to your door. But I think I think there's something about, you know, looking yeah. at those books and picking them up, you know. Yeah. yeah. Lots of people come in looking for a book and then they find five or six they weren't didn't know they wanted. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and free browsing <laughs> yeah right right uh yeah in fact there's a guy over here well he did know he wanted them but he's got about 200 books it looks like piled up over here a bunch of westerns um and i saw a bunch of star trek books go out the door just a minute ago yeah. so it's uh uh yeah it's it's working for you oh yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hopefully i'd hate to hate to think of the alternative i don't know what to do with them <laughs> yeah really maybe this will get them all gone that's uh, everything must go. And <laughs> you were telling me that uh, the some of the shelves in here were actually uh, built by you and your dad. Oh yeah, we built the majority of them. I didn't know how to drive a nail or saw a board until we started. We did it all. Wow, well, I guess these right behind you here, huh? Yeah, hmm? my wife painted them and lots of them. <laughs> it was a family family deal yes uh there's something about the smell of a used bookstore yeah. too yeah. yeah yeah they smell smell good yeah it, it really takes me back because you know i've been to a lot of used bookstores over the years and it's almost just like a blanket yeah you know like a hug or something I yeah. mean, you know but that's that's really cool so uh people coming in and out picking up what they want and uh because it, you were selling the books half price right yeah Ish. yeah forever yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they'd be half cover price yeah yeah so this is quite a deal yeah mm -hmm. yeah it was just uh, it's just getting down to it yeah <laughs> it's uh you know a lot of the people that i'm talking to uh as they come as they leave as they pay out um say that they're gonna miss it yeah you know yeah, there's like most of the customers are more like family. You get to know them, you know their name. You sure recognize them everywhere. And uh, it's been a family deal all along. It was a lot more fun building it than it is tearing it down. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, I bet so. But, so it's kind of a, a multi generational thing. Yeah. That's pretty, yeah. yeah. I'm about. I'm second generation, and then my nephew 
Ken Ragsdale. He used to work for Channel 7 yeah, okay. back in the day. He sold books. Hmm. He was really good at it, 12 hmm. years old. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, as they say, I guess, end of an era. This yeah. is uh, pretty much it. All the other kids have played hide-and-seek in here. <laughs> it's like a maze. They all love that. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. It, it definitely my, is. My dad had the big white beard, and he, they all, most of them thought he was Santa Claus. <laughs> and that was, that was something else. Wow. Well, you know, I think I'm going to just take a walk through here. All right. Um, and just kind of show people uh, what they'd be up against if they if they came in. Uh, oh, yeah. Because, yeah, it is like a maze. I mean. Yeah. Lots of books. Lots of books and these shells. That must have taken you some time to build all oh, these yeah. shells. We didn't. It took years and years. We started out in just a small store in Athens. And then we'd get bigger and bigger, and we'd have to build shelves. Wow. And so uh, you were telling me that uh, your previous location, you experienced some flooding? Oh, yeah. Over in the hillside shopping center over on East Irwin. Oh, we had a bad flood. It was, water was up to there, and it's, water's not good on books. <laughs> no. They books. swell up and started busting the shelves and it was about two or three big dumpsters full of wet stinky books wow that's it yeah and they're just pretty much unreadable after yeah after that, that was back in 86 so then uh, i guess you decided to relocate oh yeah we found this place and it was it was just about what we needed six thousand square feet and my mom drew it out, how to do this, where to put each shelf. And then it, it was funny, down at the, at the bottom of the, the drawing, she wrote, I hope this works. <laughs> I didn't know she had any doubt it would. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, this, yeah, this is quite a maze. I'm kind of lost at this point. I know the front of the store is over there, though. Yeah. And uh, speaking of that, you probably should get back up there. Yeah. Uh, now I could, I could walk it with my eyes closed after thirty-five years I guess in this so. building. I guess so. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess you're just hoping all this stuff goes away. Pardon? I said, I guess you're just hoping all this stuff goes away. Oh yeah, it's sad to see it go, but it needs to go somewhere. Good home. Yeah, like you're saying, a good home. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, John, for thanks. chatting with me. I appreciate you. All right. Thanks. And, uh, yeah, so come on down. Uh, check it out. You never know what you're going to find. And uh, I'm sure there's at least one good region here. Maybe we'll have more later on KLTV7 News and KLTV.com.